Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 3 of my FM20 5 Years On series. And as you can tell by the title above my head here, we are looking at the Northern Irish Premier League, the Republic of Ireland Premier League and the Italian Serie A to see what has been going on in the first five years of my Kingsland save in all of those countries should be interesting. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, pop a like down below. And yep, guys, and just a little thing to say before we do get into the video, as ever, I know I've said this in the first two videos, but in case you're watching this on, on its own, I recorded this whole series as one video, but it came out stupidly long, so I've cut it into different pieces for different countries, so that's why the start might seem a little bit disjointed, but other than that, I think it's all good, and so yep, guys, hope you enjoy it. Let's go and have a look at what's happening over in Ireland. Let's go and have a look at Northern Ireland as well. We'll just have a very quick look, look at this. And so Dansky Bank Premiership. And then last few years, let's have a look. And so Lane. Lana? Lana. I'm going to go Lan. Lane? Lana? I no idea how to pronounce it. If you know, let me know down below. They won it in the first season. By 10 points from Crusaders. The season after that, Linfield won it. Lana finishing down in fourth. Linfield won it, winning it by four points from Coleraine. And then after that, Lana winning it again. This time by eight points from the Crusaders. And Lana winning it again in 22-23. Again by four points, this time from Linfield. And then season just done. Linfield finally win the title. Two points away from Glenavon. So that's a very competitive league. No one team really bossing it. So that is quite nice to see. And then next up, Italy. Let's have a look. This should be interesting. I'm not sure who would have won it the most. I'm, ex I'm expecting Juventus to have really dropped off. Because I think their squad is quite old, IRL. I've said it again. I'm so sorry. No. First season. Napoli have won it from Zebra. Napoli have won it by two points from them. Roma and Inter Milan making up the top four. AC Milan down in seventh. And any other surprising teams anywhere? Uh, Fiorentina down in eleventh. I don't watch European football that much. So if you're expecting any of these teams to be around there, and I'm not, I can only go on like late 90s Italian football knowledge. So I know it's been about 20 years, but that is my most up-to-date knowledge of Italian football. But yeah, Napoli winning the league in Season 1. Season 2, they won it again. This time on goal difference. Oh, what a end of season last game that would have been to watch. And so it's a total of seven goals that has stopped Juventus from winning the league again. And then season after that, Napoli, three on the spin. I'm going to have to have a look at this Napoli team in a minute because they have been absolutely bossing it. I know I was expecting Juventus to fall down a bit, but maybe not this much. But then again, can you call a 92-point season a bad one? And they've had 92 points, but still only managed to finish third. That is a whole lot of quality in between Napoli, Roma and Juventus in that particular season. And then after that, Napoli have made it four on the spin. This time by two points from Roma and, what, five points clear of Juventus. So Napoli are just absolutely bossing this. Surely they've not made it five on the spin. They haven't. Inter Milan have won it by nine point no eleven points there from Napoli. So that really is quite a big swing. And Juventus have fallen out of the Champions League places. And so you know what? I want to have a look at Juventus first. Let's go players. Let's see if Ronaldo's still there. 
I'm guessing he's not if he's not on any of those lists there. Has Ronaldo retired? It looks like he has. When did Ronaldo retire? He retired. Ooh, might have been a while ago. He's now the under-19s assistant manager for Real Betis. Weird one. Very weird one there. And so he retired. This season just gone. But still, look at them stats for someone who's only just retired. 27 goals in the first season of the save. Then 22, 23, 20. And he's still got 15 with 7 assists in his last season as a player. The man is an absolute freak of nature. He's 39 years old. I bet he could still do a job for a really high-end European team. And so, let's go by value in the Juventus squad. Paolo Dybala is still there. He's 30 years old. Look at them technicals. Oh! Look, look, look at them. And he's been transfer listed. Why are you transfer listing him? He's still got decent physicals. And it looks like they're going to be selling him to Roma. It looks like they're going to be selling him to one of their rivals. That is a ridiculous... Ridiculous move. Let's see it. Ooh. His, his attributes might be very good, but he's not been scoring that many. He scored 7, 4, 8, 5 and 8. That's very disappointing. You would expect a lot, lot more from Paolo Dybala. Not sure what's been going on there. Like he's still not been having terrible seasons by any stretch, but... Wowzers. And who else have they got? Uh, Bentacor, not really interested in him. Anybody else? Um, uh, Lacazette's there. And Suarez, I've just seen, is there. How has Lacazette been getting on? Uh, he left Arsenal to go to Juventus. Did okay. Nine goals and nine goals. And then he went to Bournemouth on loan. Got just the five there. And now he's back at Juventus. He might struggle to get a game. I think he might just struggle to get a game. And so Luis Suarez is retiring at the end of this season. He's played 157 times for his country. He's been at Juventus for three years. And he's had decent years. 18 goals in his first season, 9 and 9 in his last two. This season just gone, he got a 7.41 average rating. And so anybody else you want to have a look at? Not that I can think of. And so we're, I'm, I'm going to go through these next couple of squads rather quickly because I'm noticing I've been talking for like half an hour. So you know what, I will just flash these teams up and then we'll have a look and... You can see who is where. And so, yep, highest paid player, Nicolo Barella. Let's have a look at him. He has been at Inter Milan for pretty much this whole save. Cagliari. What? I'm confused. He, he, he was already there. Why? Who are you paying £40 million to? I'm confused. Okay, well, they've paid £40 million to somebody. And then Inter Milan have got him for half that price. And so, he's had decent years. 7.2, 7.2, 7.2, 7.2. And so, he looks all right. And then anybody else you want to be having a look at here. Oh, they've got Saka, that guy from Arsenal. They paid £24.5 million for him. And he's doing... Okay, five goals with a 7.07 rating and then five goals and four assists with a 7.21. And so he's still only 22. He looks like he could be very, very good for them. And so anybody else? No, not anybody else I can really think of. And so you know what? Let's move on to the next league. Uh, the Republic of Ireland will have a very, very quick look at them and here we are it was won in the first season by Dundalk second season Dundalk 
again by a huge gap there. Quite a big gap both seasons. And in season three, Dundalk have won it again. Three on the spin, four on the spin. And finally, somebody else takes them off it. They finish third in the season, just gone. Cork City have won it there. So, four on the spin for Dundalk. And then Cork City winning it back there for them. That's where we're going to leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. The Kingsland Walks to Prem save. The India Building a Nation Challenge series. And my Real Madrid Classic League series on Pro Evo 2020. Thank you very much for watching. Check out all the other Passion for FM lads. All the details are down below. And check out the Passion for FM website, Twitter, Facebook and the Discord. All that good stuff. Check it all out. And yep guys, I shall see you tomorrow for a massive video in the Kingsland save. It's the playoff final. Yes! So, looking forward to that one tomorrow. Hope you are as well. I shall see you later. Bye!